Hey, another delivery from China. So, what do we got here? Uh, something I ordered not long time ago, ago I guess, since at R the 0603 RGB diodes. So, um, yeah, quantity one, 15 US dollars. I'm uh, really happy about these, uh, but I don't know if I would start the project I meant to do with this um, quite soon because I have uh, my my bench is really full of other stuff as you can see and I um, yeah I have to do some other projects first like like uh, the power supply finally which doesn't work really great right now I don't know uh, not sure why but uh, yeah, I have to do some stuff there before I continue to uh, do this project, I guess. So let let's uh, open it, open it up, and um, take a look what what they have sent me. I really don't know how they look like in reality, since um, they should be quite small. All the um, other RGB diodes are quite quite huge. But I wanted to be the smallest you can get. So I can solder a display out of these. So I will just. Oh man, this is tiny. So I will have to solder really much. These are 500 pieces. And let's take a look. <laughs> okay, so that's it. It's really small. I can just show you comparison to a breadboard. So this tiny thing is really just a dot. I can just put um, many in a row. I've I just planned to make like four centimeters so wide um, by four centimeters display with these things and planned about 15 in a row, not 16, 15. I will show you why, but um, that's just for now. And um, let me take it out and show maybe. One piece. Okay, that's the back side. As you can see, there are four pins. Uh, one, one uh, which is uh, yeah ground or anode cathode. I don't know the, uh, the specific name in there, but um, and one for each color, and the other side. So the other side, you maybe see some dots there. Uh, I could try to maybe light this thing up. This is too tiny, I have to solder this first. Okay, I have to solder this, this wouldn't work like this. Um, Give me a minute and I'll be back. I think I will take a um, board like this for now and just solder it between the two lanes and split it, split them also in this direction. So I, I have like, um, yeah, a fan out, which uh, I don't have right now to, to edge 
because uh, for this tiny thing it's not worth it. Hopefully I don't shout it. So let's center this. But it might break anyway if I try to hand solder it right now. Let's see. the second one a bit more solar there let's hope I don't short okay and so let me take a closer look on this Okay, I think this one needs a bit of tension. This one. It's okay. I really am not sure how will solder complete this play with this. <laughs> Maybe I have to use the paste and um, yeah, but I'm not sure about my techniques with the paste. It's uh, kind of... Um, boiling and uh, I have to do some somehow this reflow stuff so um, I think it's solid and uh, let's try it out I don't know what's the anode and the cathode so I just um, reconnected uh, the wires because um, the resistor I used on, on the powering breadboard with this uh, coin battery um, the resistor was just too high and I need the full 3 volts um, full ampere uh, amperage full current to um, yeah to run to run the other colors uh, other than, than red um, and here you can see the beauty of uh, this um, SMD it's quite nice red green and blue so uh, complete success on this um, order from China and I really love them it was uh, I just looked it up I, I um, paid $37 for 500 uh, of this R RGB LEDs but you can't you can't get them for this price in Europe so this was uh, quite a success. So see me soon uh, doing something with these puppies, but I really not sure how we'll solder these things um, in uh, just a huge array. So let's check it out. <laughs>